Okay, from your vBulletin homepage, you're going to, in order to create an issue, you're going to actually go over here, up to the top left, all the way over to Tracker. Then from there, it's going to take you to our Gyra customer feedback system, and you're going to go over here to the top right and hit Login. You're actually going to go ahead and use your vBulletin username and password. And from there, in the top left here, you'll see Dashboards, Projects, and Issues. You're going to click on the Issues drop-down menu, and you're going to click on Create Issue. Now from here, from this screen, you're going to have Project and Issue Type. First one, you're going to pick from these. I'm just going to go ahead and make up one, and I am going to do Vbolt and Facebook app. And from here, you have about seven different issue types. If you click on this question mark right here, It'll actually show you um, a description of each, so you can kind of gauge as to what kind of issue you have. I'm just going to go ahead and pick bug. Um, from there, when you go to the next screen, it should show you the two things that you inputted in it from the last section. So I have my Evolt and Facebook ad, I put in bug. In the summary section, you're going to kind of give say exactly what's going on. I'm just going to make up, say, uh, notifications are not visible with the application. Uh, again, for security level, it's going to be between private and public. Private meaning only vBulletin staff can see it, and public is other users can see it in the tracker page. I'm just going to go ahead and make it private. Um, priority, again, you can click on the question mark. For any of these, uh, any parts of this form, if there's something you don't understand, you just simply click on the question mark and it'll explain it to you a little further. Um, this kind of gives you a gauge as to uh, what priority level you should put. I'm going to go ahead and pick minor. We go down. On here, uh, as far as components, you're going to actually, for here, it, it knows that I put in the Facebook app. I'm going to just go ahead and put application. And then down here, you'll, uh, this would probably be this, pretty much the standard for any of them. If you picked VBolt in 4 or whatever, it's going to ask you the different versions. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just pick one. Um, environment that's going to be you know what operating system software platform you're using and then down here for description again you can click on these question marks and it'll give you kind of a little help uh, s section telling you what exactly each section is asking for for here again you want to be as detailed as possible it helps um, the person who is assigned to this issue I'm just gonna be brief in mind though and just put application uh, notifications are not visible to users. Um, again, you're probably going to need to be a little bit more specific uh, with your issue. You can actually attach a file to this, and then I'm just going to go down here and click Create. And this kind of gives you a receipt of what exactly um, you put in over here. It's going to show you the status of it. Uh, when you come back and check it again, you can actually see if the status has changed. Um, some of the different ones you might see are open where it's been opened and is ready to be assigned to uh, start working on. In progress means it's being actively worked on, reopened was it, the issue was resolved, but for some reason the resolution was deemed incorrect, and so therefore it's being uh, assigned again. You also will see maybe resolved, closed, or unconfirmed. Again, there's um, little sections in there that show you what exactly each means. Um, it's to show you who the issue was assigned to. And now then we're going to go and show you how to uh, check up on the issue. And you will s receive probably even a notification with after doing this, and it will give you that key right there. Just kind of, that will be uh, used to help you track it later on. Uh, again, we'll just pretend we're coming straight from the vBulletin website. Obviously we're already logged in. Again, you're going to go up here and click on Tracker. Then from there, you're going to go to the Issues drop-down tab. And actually, if you're already logged in, it'll show you your recent issues. And again, there's the key numbers are right here. That's the one that we put in. And it'll show you here. Obviously, over a course of time, it'll show a different status uh, in there. But that is how you are able to check on your issue. And again, it'll show you whether or not it was, um, whether it was resolved. There you go.